Madge and Guy. They were a young couple, very much in love, but poor? Anyway, they knew what it meant to really give a gift. See, Christmas was coming, and Madge was counting her pennies to see what she could buy for Guy. A dollar eighty-four, a dollar eighty-five, a dollar eighty-six, one dollar and eighty-seven cents, and tomorrow's Christmas. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Come in. Hello, darling Madge. I'm sorry to bother you like this, but I was just making a pie for our meal tomorrow, and why, Madge, darling, are you crying? What is it? It's when your face gets all red and tears run down your cheeks. Uh, no, no, dear. I mean, what's the matter? You, you mean besides the fact that it's Christmas Eve and I haven't done any shopping, and even if I did, I couldn't buy what I want because what I want is something really special, and all the money I have in the world is one dollar and eighty-seven cents. Yeah. Besides that. Nothing. Oh, listen, sweetie. <laughs> Who's this present for anyway? My guy. Your guy? Does your husband know about this? Guy is my husband. Oh, that guy. I wanted to get him something really nice this Christmas, and I can't. Well, if you don't have the cash on hand, um. Oh, I know. You could bake some cookies and sell them down by the market. We sold the stove to pay the car insurance. Okay, you could use the car to make deliveries. Sold the car to cover medical bills. Oh, furniture, dentist, jewelry, taxes, books. Harvey. Harvey. Guy's cousin Harvey. You think we're poor? What am I gonna do? Oh, come on, cheer up, sweetie. Any time God closes a door, He opens a window. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, that's just the newspaper. Why doesn't that delivery boy toss it on the porch like he's supposed to? He can't. Don't tell me. You sold the porch. Electric bill. Say, honey, did you look here in the want ads? Want ads? No thanks. Got some right here. Oh, and say, look at this one. Wanted hair. Somebody would buy hair. Are you kidding, honey? Wigs are big business. Listen, we pay top dollar for top-notch tops. Bring your hair here. Bingo! Your problem solved. Oh, I couldn't sell my hair. It's long. It's silky. It's worth twenty bucks. Take my advice. Talk to the man. But Guy loves my hair. Why? Just the other day, he told me. Madge, I really love your hair. And I just couldn't do this to him. How do you do that? Special effects. Oh, well, darling. I mean, it's up to you. After all, it's just a present. There'll be other Christmases. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you later. And with that, Ethel left for home. Unfortunately, she forgot that Madge sold the porch. Oh yeah. Anyway.